What's up, Ravens? Welcome to this Friday's bloody edition of Raven Roundup. <laughs> I get it, because the blood drives today. Uh, no, I was talking about that Miles Garrett fight. Oh, yeah, that was bad. We'll get to that in a second. Also on our show today, we'll cover up some big moves in the NBA. As well as the MLB MVPs. I'm Blake Amber. And I'm Alex Pauly. This is your Raven Roundup. Thursday night's NFL matchup saw the Steelers versus the Browns. Or should I say Miles Garrett versus Mason Rudolph? Start watching the NFL, not the WWE. A brutal fight took place very late in the game during the last 10 seconds. A late tackle from Browns defensive end Miles Garrett saw Steelers quarterback Mason Rudolph up in arms. Both players got involved with a bit of a scruff and it just kept escalating. Blake, that's an understatement. Garrett ended up ripping Rudolph's helmet off by the face mask before swinging it back down, bashing the head of the QB on the way. Rudolph's teammate Marquise Pouncey was having none of that and came in seconds after to defend his quarterback. Punches and kicks galore were thrown at Garrett. Tensions were soon eased, but the damage had already been done. Browns tackle Larry Ogunjobi will miss one game with a suspension after his cheap shot on Rudolph. Pouncey is out for three games, and Miles Garrett, the 2017 number one overall pick, is suspended indefinitely, at least for the rest of the season. A real ugly show in Cleveland, and three players paid the price. That game ended 21-7, Browns on top. Two big moves have developed in the NBA over the past couple of days. Yeah, Carmelo Anthony is headed to the Portland Trailblazers, and Iman Schumpert is, is signing with the Brooklyn Nets. Carmelo, a 10-time All-Star, began this season without a team. In fact, he hasn't touched an NBA court in over a year. However, the small forward will finally suit up again for the Blazers, a team plagued by injuries that started the season off 3-3. Three three. Fans are excited to see Melo on the court again and hoping that this season will be better than his 10-game stint with the Rockets last season. In other basketball news, Iman Schumpert has been signed by the Brooklyn Nets, further adding to a team already bolstered by Kyrie Irving, Jared Allen, and DeAndre Jordan, and Kevin Durant, though KD is out for the season with an Achilles injury. Schumpert is looking to add some veteran talent to the Brooklyn squad. For our last story of the day, we head over to the MLB, where the AL and NL MVPs were announced. In the American League, LA Angel Mike Trout topped the voting results. And for the National League, it was L.A. Dodger Cody Bellinger. This is Trout's third MVP award, making him just the 11th player to do so. It really only confirms the outfielder's greatness in the generation of baseball players. Although, I'm more of a salmon guy myself. There's no doubting that Trout is amazing, batting 291 with 45 homers and 438 on-base percentage in 2019. Seems like Los Angeles is the hub for great baseball players, as Dodger Cody Bellinger represented the National League as the MVP. Bellinger is no stranger to good stats either, as he batted 305, recorded an on-base percentage of 406, and amassed a total of 115 RBIs over the course of this season. Congrats on, to both players on this accomplishment. That's all we have for Roundup today, Ravens. Thanks for watching, and make sure to stay tuned for more of your favorite sports recaps in the future. For Landon Daniel and the rest of the SID team, this has been my boy Blake Gamber and Alex Pauly. Keep vibing, Ravens.